The Hugh Jackman Diaries. Had to go to some dinner. Peckerhead Baz Luhrmann wanted me to meet some foreign investors from Hong Kong or Europe or something, whatever the Asian one is. They were going to try and get some new film off the ground and needed me, Hugh Jackman, the best in the business, to transform it from a turd into a big juicy risol. That's what I do. This meeting was at the Flower Drum restaurant. Lerman made me promise to be on my best behaviour and to dress accordingly. According to what? Well, according to whatever I damn well felt like I assumed. I put on some brand new Versace suit pants. They were all class. I assumed they were anyway. I'd stolen them from Morgan Freeman's house at some cocktail party he had in Hollywood a couple of weeks ago. I helped myself to a full packet of napkins from their pantry too. They were unopened. Gotta love that. Save himself three bucks right there. That was all I stole from the Freemans. Unless you count that four litres of milk from their fridge. But I didn't really steal that. I just poured it out onto the kitchen floor into a big puddle. No reason for it. No deeper meaning. It was pure escapism. Good old fashioned entertainment. That's me, all the way. Hugh Jackman, the entertainer. The total package. So I'm putting on these Versace pants, but they're too long. And it was a balmy night, so I got me blade out and hacked off one of the legs so it was short like a pair of stubbies. In fact, not quite like stubbies, quite a bit shorter. One of me nads was hanging out. That didn't concern me much though. Like I say, it was a balmy night. You need clothes that can breathe a bit. I left the other pant leg as it was. Don't need to overdo these things. Remembering Baz wanted me to dress up, I put on my best Children of Bottom t-shirt. It was almost time to go, but there was one other thing I have to do before a dinner engagement, and that was to down as much chartreuse as possible, as quickly as possible. I only got three three quarters of a bottle before it was time to go. I called one three cabs, but I couldn't help myself. Instead of booking a cab, I just told the chick on the other end that she should get a life. Pissed myself laughing and hung up. With the cab not happening, I headed to the flower drum on my BMX. It was only five minutes away, but I was feeling inspired and took a 30 minute stop off at the hospital where I ran around all the wards telling the nurses to get a real job. I got to the restaurant. Baz was sitting there with the Hong Kong investors. I went to the table. They all looked up at me and didn't say a word. I tucked me exposed nad back into the Versace pant leg and flashed them me pearly whites. I got a tap on the shoulder. It was the waiter. He told me I'd have to take the BMX outside. I said, no way. Do you tell Leonardo da Vinci to part with his texters? Do you tell the captain of the Titanic to leave his boat outside? The BMX stays. He got my point, which was cleverly emphasised by the subtlety of the headlock I also had him in. I let him go. I looked down at Baz. Like me, he was shaking his head in disbelief that the waiter could be so foolish as to ask me, Hugh Jackman, to leave his BMX outside. I looked around me. I just don't see the point of restaurants. Seriously, what's the point of sitting down to eat? I just sat on my BMX at the table. Baz introduced me to the Hong Kongers. I told them how much I love their country, especially their Bollywood films. The waiter asked if we were ready to order. Lerman and the others got some kind of banquet with rice and shit like that. I said I'll just have some sausage rolls. Lerman smiled at me and said something about there being one of the finest Cantonese chefs in the southern hemisphere in the kitchen. I said well if he's so freaking fine he should be able to whip together some sausage rolls. The waiter said okay, and if that would be for entree. I said yes. He asked what I wanted for mains. I said I'll have sausage rolls for mains too. He walked off. Lerman started pitching his film idea to the Hong Kongers. God it was lame. When it was time for me to contribute, I got out my trump card and pulled the chair out from under Lerman. He fell to the floor, looked like he was hurt. Jeez, it was funny. What do you think of his lame-ass idea now, huh? I said to the Hong Kongs. I said, forget Lerman, he's a total deadbeat. Just look at him. I've got a better idea for a film. It's got me in it, and I'm in a room, and every time someone comes into the room, I kick their ass. And it's got Natalie Imbruglia in it, and she's in a cage. She's wearing white socks, and she's got a ponytail, and she jumps up and down a whole lot. But it's classy, and whenever she jumps up and down, I do a bit of a song and dance number. Just like this. And then I jumped up onto the table with me BMX and Bunny hopped on top of their banquet while singing a number from The Boy From Oz for the whole restaurant to see, free of charge. That's the type of entertainer I am. A giver. My nads were hanging out the one-legged Versace pants again, but that didn't matter because of my ability to make people suspend disbelief, to create dreams. All those people there in the flower drum couldn't believe what they were seeing. And to top it all off, me wheels slid on a dumpling and I fell off the table, onto the waiter. The sausage rolls flew everywhere. I came to rest with me BMX on top of Peckerhead, Baz Luhrmann. It was a spectacular finale. It had everything. Good food, good singing, action, bunny hopping. The sausage rolls rained down upon us. It couldn't have been done by anyone else but me, the best in the business, Hugh Jackman.
The Hugh Jackman Diaries.